Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here. Hey Mungo. Hey there, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, play uh, older versions of uh, Minecraft using Minecraft version 1.14 Java Edition. This only works in the Java Edition, doesn't work in the Windows 10 Edition. So let's get started here. If you look here up at the top there are some choices here if we click on installations it brings up the installations tab and all we see here is something that says latest release and that indeed is the latest release as of this video of minecraft uh over here you'll see um to the right versions by default it clicks on stable versions and uh we have snapshots here if we click that it puts the latest snapshot there. The snapshot is uh, the kind of the beta version of the next version they're working on. In this case, they're working on version 1.14.4. Now you can play that and see uh, how that development is progressing. Probably not real exciting in version 0.4 uh, because it's probably fixing some bugs. And so a lot of the stuff would not be noticeable. If they went to like version 1.15, then you would start to see uh, like uh, how they were developing like new mobs and stuff. So you might see new mobs or creatures uh, in there. You might see new blocks. Uh, but that stuff can change over the final version. So they may change the way the mobs behave. They may uh, change the way the blocks look, etc. before the final. But it gives you an idea of what the next version might be like and what features or some of what features that you will will see or should expect to see in it i'm going to unclick that for now and then we have like historic here if we click historic uh it will give us uh versions before version one of minecraft real old when it was first being developed and when it first started out for snapshots or historical you want to really create a separate uh game directory uh, to keep your games separate. All right, let's go here uh, over to the left. This plus sign, it says new. We'll click that. And uh, this is uh, where we create a new installation. We're going to call this old Minecraft one. And we're going to do, let's do version 1.11 the next thing we're going to do is select uh, resolution this is the resolution of the starting window I always just leave it on auto if you need to change the size of the startup window for whatever reason you can change that but uh, auto does a good job of it and uh, you can always uh, expand the size of the window by clicking this little square up in the corner, as we'll see. Uh, game and directory, if we go here and um, we browse, uh, we can create a new game directory, and that will keep all of the, um, all of the uh, worlds uh, that you create in a particular version in a separate directory and that's all you'll see when you start it up. We'll see that in, at the end of the video. I'll go through that real quick in case you're interested. But that's an optional thing. You really don't need to change that most of the time. Um, so then the uh, next thing we have here is uh, the Java runtime. If you have multiple versions of Java on your machine, you can browse and change the runtime. You shouldn't really mess with that unless you know what you're doing. Uh, it's generally not necessary to to uh, mess with that. Now, these arguments, uh, JVM, uh, Java Virtual Machine, that's for the way Java starts up and runs Minecraft. And uh, you, there's a slight possibility you may need to put some switch in if you if you're uh, running an old mod or something and it tells you to run that this is where you would put it but typically you wouldn't mess with either of these things so let's just get rid of that and uh, let's go ahead and uh, create this uh, version 
And so you'll see we have old Minecraft one underneath it has version 1.11. Let's go ahead and play it. All right, as you can see, it opened the window here. If we click on this little square box, it will expand to full size. Let's go to single player. Now you see these worlds. There are a bunch of worlds I already created. If you look down here, it actually has uh, version numbers. This is 1.14.3 that I created, which is a, is a newer version. Uh, I created a world 1.8. I actually wrote that in the title. It's a good idea to write the version in the title if you're messing with versions, so you know later what it is, just in case it doesn't show uh, some of the older versions. Uh, 1.11 actually shows the version number up here. Now, you can open older worlds in a newer version of Minecraft without any problem. But if you're opening uh, newer worlds in an older version, uh, the older version might not render certain blocks and stuff. It might not have certain features the newer one does, and it might not run correctly. Also, uh, I'd be wary of, the, of opening a uh, newer version in an older version because you might corrupt your world somehow. Uh, so in those cases, you want to create a separate directory, which I'll show you how to do in a second. If we click, click, um, uh, well, that's a, a world we already created in 1.11. Let's just create a new world. And uh, we're going to go uh, 1.11b. This is another one. And we'll just create. So you just create it like you would normally create a new world. And it will build the terrain and everything. And there it is. There's the world. Now let's go back and look how you can put it in a different directory uh, real quick. But basically, you have the idea of how you can uh, run an older uh, installation on Minecraft 1.14. Uh, so, so here we're going to magically switch back again. All right, so here we are at the uh, installation screen again. This is old Minecraft 1, which we already created. Well, let's create a new one. And we're going to call this old minecraft 2 you can name this whatever you want uh name it something that helps you remember it or what version it is we'll also say what versions on it when you create it and so uh, let's go here uh, we had 1.11 let's uh do 1.12 all right and uh i'm gonna leave uh resolution on auto again so we're going to create a new directory. So uh, by default, it's in dot Minecraft. Uh, so let's uh, let's put put it under that. So it's it's set for there right now. So if we create a new directory, put a new directory under there, and let's call this old dash Minecraft and. Uh, Let's call it dash 1.12, which is the version that we're installing. And so uh, the reason we'll pick this is because um, that will let us know that all the, all the uh, worlds we're saving in here are version 1.12. Make sure this is highlighted. Go OK. We're going to go back here to where it says directory to make sure that it says old Minecraft dash 1.12, which it does. And so then we can just create the world. And so here we have old Minecraft 2. Uh, and it says 1.12 down at the bottom. Let's just play that. All right. So here it is. And up at the top, it says 1.12. Uh, we'll go and we'll expand it to full size. We'll go to single player and you'll see there are no worlds listed here because it's in a new directory. Uh, the worlds we created before are still in the default directory of our current Minecraft. So when we open up the current version, we'll still see those worlds. But this helps keep uh, the world separate and uh, reduces the chance that you might inadvertently corrupt something. So uh, now we're going to uh, go to create new world. We're going to change it to creative and we're going to go new world 1.12. And uh, we'll go create new world. 
here's 1.12. If we hit escape out of here and go save and click to title and go back in again, you'll see that it's created that world right here. And so we have it uh, just as it should be. So that's how you run older versions of Minecraft in uh, Minecraft version 1.14 Java edition. I'm Mungo Dark Manor, and whatever you do, enjoy Minecraft, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.